The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, uh, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. What I thought I would do this morning was be to go through uh, some of the trades that I've been posting for the 24-7 uh, subscribers. Uh, actually, folks, uh, on the day when, when, when Tony Min and I worked for Commodity Corporation, we had to go through a, you know, very strict training sessions. And stuff and one of the things that we were aware of that if you had a divorce death in the family or were moving you weren't allowed to trade until you uh, had your peers look at what you were doing and make sure you were okay mentally this is one of those days for me folks uh, had it you know it's been okay but uh, mentally I am I'm, I'm two one-third there maybe 10% anyway here's what we were looking at to sell this uh, ABCD here at 38655 our stop had to be right above here that's where it remains. There's your 1.618 expansion number. Uh, let's go over to the soybeans. Remember, we were looking at soybeans. We got out of those yesterday because they were they were so very, very weak. We'll get that four-hour chart up here. And uh, well, the reason why I'm bringing all this up here, folks, is because uh, you learn from your mistakes. And our, we had no mistakes here. We bought it at the right place. We had a stop. We lost eight cents. And look, it's down another 20, uh, 18 cents from where from where we got out. This uh, and so right now, what's happening is there's a larger cycle out here. I don't know which one it is. All I know at that point, that's where I wanted to play the game. And uh, that's if you take a look at these others, let's just. Uh, just look at this one right here because this would be a pretty good one. It might get down to that level. It's already through that level too. And mainly there's a report that's out. I believe it's today. Maybe I'm wrong. It could be tomorrow. But Rich said it was a supply-demand uh, report. And uh, that basically said there was more meal and oil and beans than, uh, there's, than they expected you know, for a uh, very, very long time. So let's just uh, remind ourselves of that as we're looking at these things go up and down. Ah, well, here we got something good happening right now. Let's take a look right now as we're watching here. Here is our situation here in the uh, uh, S&P. We're almost at the 78% level, folks. We'll just get up here. We're just telling you that with the S&P cash. And so there's where we are. This is at 38. Uh, this comes in at 42. That's where the game would be played uh, right in here. So, you know, the problem is, is that, uh, you know, this market, it could be extremely bullish and we might go up to make new highs. And that is, is certainly possible. But we have to do is that when you see this happening, you have to have a stop in because you don't know what's going to happen next. The problem when you're when you're trading and you have something else on your mind, you make little mental mistakes. Now, we had some good trades uh, today. In fact, it was a relatively good trade. We had a really nice move here uh, in the Treasury bonds. If you remember, I talked about those. And uh, we had a uh, really nice 382 up here. We'll get, to get that hourly chart so you can see it easy enough. Uh, where, wow, yeah, this is it. Here we had it at 08, went a little bit higher right here. Okay, we sold it at 08. And it's down to this level right here. So that's got a nice $500 profit in it. Uh, we also, we were in the um, gold, and we're still in the gold. And I'll just show you where we are in the gold. There was the 382 in the gold. We sold that at 16. Okay, our stop was above here. Came all the way down to 10, okay? And, uh, you know, it hasn't gone anywhere. So what we've done is we moved our stop up to this level right here. So we're only risking a couple dollars. Okay, now, the one thing I should have done, and I'm looking at this in high, so hindsight's really good. We'll get rid of this. I want to see if this low was a 382. And if it was, then I know that there's probably true. There it is. It came right down to it and held. No matter what, we have to stop in here at 18. So it's a $2 loss. Uh, if it's a $2 loss, that's that's all we can do. The other big surprise today has been the U.S. dollar. In other words, the strength in the euro. We're going to get this up here and show you the strength in the euro today because it was spectacular. 
Here was the 382 last night. You can see it hit it one, two, three times, and then when the report came out, of course, it exploded uh, to the upside. Now, what I, I suggested that you you can sell here with your stop above the 50% level. You know, you're only talking about 15 pips. Our loss on that was like $150. Okay, so that's all I was doing was watching that. Okay, so that was a smaller loss. Okay, the other one that we had, we already talked about the gold market. We already talked about the bond market, uh, the natural gas. If you'll remember, we talked about natural gas yesterday, and this is the situation that we had. We bought that down here at 60. If you'll remember, that was a very important number, and today it got up to here. And what we did this morning is we re moved our stop here to 63.50, locking in a $200 profit. That was the reasoning behind that. And, of course, the report came out on natural gas, and you can see here's the report. It went from 63 down to 58 very, very quickly. But looking at this just on a real short term, looking at this on a real short term, here's your second chance. Because you, looking at this, you got an A, B, C, D pattern coming in spot on the bottom right there at 57. Good old A, B, C, D always standing there by your side ready to help you along the way so that's one that you could have bought and you know put your stop right below that and that's what we're uh, you know paying very uh, close attention to here uh, right now okay now if you bought so you can see right now the uh, s p here is just taking out that that high level right here and we should be almost right on the spot number for the e mini s p let's just double check here Yep, we hit it just now. I'll bet you eight. Let's see if we hit 50. Is it 58? Yep, we did. We just hit uh, 50, 38. Now, <laughs> if you believe in these numbers, folks, and you know it's not easy to do, but this is where you got to sell it and uh, put your stop above here. Risk of, you know, about five, six points is all you have to risk, but that is it. So there was your 618. There's your 618 didn't help you very much because it kept going higher. But now you've got an ABCD. So you're. Your stop has got to be above the D point. So you're only risking four, five, six points. Stop and think it's, you know, it's worth a quarter of a million dollars and you only have to risk a few hundred dollars. That's the kind of trade that you want to be you want to be looking at. Okay? So those are some of the things that I'm trying to share with you folks each each morning here. We're gonna look at some currencies uh, uh, later because I've had several questions about the British pound and a couple others that will be interesting, but we'll watch those. Regarding the soybeans on a longer-term basis, there's nothing we should be doing there until we see some type of bottoming formation, folks. You know, this business is about, you know, picking your shots the best you can, and sometimes you're going to be right, sometimes you're going to be wrong, and that's the, that's the name of the game, and that's all you can really do. So we're going to be watching this for sure. Anyway, we'll take a look here uh, at the... Uh, NASDAQ. Someone asked a question about that, and we certainly want to watch what it's been doing. We'll get up here, right here. Bear with me today, folks, because this is one of those days that you makes you think, well, hmm, what's going on? Now, you can see the NASDAQ for the first time. Hey, oh, we got a break coming up here. 877-927-6648. We'll be right back, and we'll talk about the NASDAQ. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educate investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, here's the NASDAQ for today. You see it hasn't made a new high as of yet, but it's close. Uh, you'll notice today's low was an exact 382, was telling you that uh, this market had a lot of strength in it, and it certainly has. So that is uh, going up. It also, if you looked at the uh, previous low right here, you'll see that that was exactly a 61% retracement. You can see they both come together, the exact number. And folks, that's where these algorithmic traders are in there watching this stuff real closely. If you look at this, now this is a 30-minute chart here on the NASDAQ. And just looking at just some really simple stuff like those, that you can see this is a 1, 3, 5 pattern. I'll just draw this in. There's your low right here. There's your first low. Uh, your second low is off by, uh, looks like, about an, uh, two hours or so. Here's the numbers. I mean, remember, time is the most elusive, folks. That's a thing we don't see very much at all. But this strength like this is probably pushing the S&P above that number. And it just hit, uh, made a new high at uh, 39. So we're going to be watching it real closely up in here. Now, I sold it at 38, um, 38.50. We're at 38.50 now. And I put my stop right above here at 50.43. I'm going to risk uh just 250 about $50 on that trade right here. Only because of that. Here again, let's just double check if the S&P did a 382 like the NASDAQ. So if you go from your low up to your high that you had in here, you can see that it didn't even come close to it. It missed it by, uh, it didn't miss it by much. Missed it by about eight points. So that's what we're watching here as we're looking at these things unfold here today. So let me move over one more time and cover let's see how the natural gas is moving pretty good uh here's the crude oil i wanted to talk about crude oil for a little bit okay because yesterday we had a a big move up in crude oil then it moved down and here's the move down and this is the, the move that it had today now folks remember this number because it's to me it's very important it's 0 0.382 this is i got from watching tom hugar trade but there it was right here at 94 it went down to 65 and rallied three dollars, folks. It went from eighty, uh, yeah, three bucks, from seventy-five to eighty. Uh, excuse me, seventy-five dollars to seventy-eight dollars uh, per per uh, barrel of oil. So that's a pretty big move. It stopped exactly at the seventy-eight percent level. I mean, to the tick. It couldn't have been any closer. The exact number. It's already backed off about uh, forty pips. Okay. 
So let's uh, move on here, and we'll see how this cash S&P should be catching up here. I don't know. It's late because I got delayed data here on the cash. So I'll just get rid of this, and we have our first question coming in, and we'll just take a quick look here at this. And uh, hold on one second. We're going to see where we are here. All right, let's move over to the question, which was regarding wheat. And I haven't looked at wheat uh, today because of money, a lot of things going on in the old corral here. Boy, I'll tell you, it's been tough when you think about it. It's hard. <laughs> yeah, he's close to a brother as I ever. I didn't have a brother, but that's about as close as I could get, I guess. All of a sudden, you can see wheat's collapsing, too. Um, the fact is, uh, look at wheat. We're back down. It's hard to believe, folks. This used to be thirteen dollars and something, and now we're we're breaking down badly. We got to look at the next level. Uh, this report must have really been a nasty one today in wheat. But let's just look at this. Now, this is a daily going back to the twenty sixth of January. That's the nearest clear pattern that I could see here. And as you can see, if you were looking at this, you had your A B. Let's see how the B probably went right up to the exact six one eight. Yeah, there it is, right there. You can see it, 618. We're heading down to 55. We're down, going to be another another 20 bucks down in here in the wheat. So we'll have some time to uh, take a look at it. This is actually a real blessing in disguise, folks, because the lower the prices get coming into the uh, planning intentions report, the bigger opportunity they will be uh, in the near future. So don't uh, don't be impatient and start trying to buy some of these things because you had a really good chance yesterday. You, you lost a couple, 300 bucks or so, say $400 in the meal, uh, $300 or so in the soybeans, and then you wait and see you know what's going to happen next. Looking at this on the long-term weekly, just get this up here. Look, look what's happened to wheat here, folks. Here we remember that we had this back here. This is this is March wheat, but the nearby wheat was at thirteen dollars. This was a new crop, so you see they had the big breakdown. Then it had the three eight two. You see how it stopped exactly at the three eight two. That was two and a half dollars bushel. Look at look at the look at the three eight two right here. You really start should to pay attention to that. Now we've got a triple bottom forming here on the weekly chart. We're going to go below this level. That's no question because that's at 55, 56. That's only 10 cents away. So it's probably going to take that out and head to that level we were looking at, which is 507. But boy, you got to be getting close to pretty to, to production costs when you get wheat <clears throat> under five dollars uh, or close to five dollars an ounce per <laughs> Shut the front door and raise their hand. <clears throat> But that's what we're watching here uh, with the wheat. Now, let's take a quick look here at the corn. It should be getting massacred also, which is not unusual because it had some lower prices. We're going to look at the Christmas corn, folks. That's going to be this one right here. Uh, uh oh, you know what I got to do is I need to hit Z4. Make sure I get that right. Hold on now. And I hope it does. Yeah, you see, look at there. Just. They're just uh, beating the December corn. This has not even been planted yet, folks. The boys are thinking about it, but they're not doing it yet. So we're beyond any one point. I can see we're way beyond uh, the 1.618 or ABCD here. Let's just let's just cover this right now while we're doing it. There's your low. Uh, we're coming in there. We're heading down to 4.43, down another 15 cents. Your ABCD. Uh, has been exceeded way a long time ago. Uh, that was here at 469. That was right there. Look at this little tiny rally and still lower. That means we are heading lower down here, folks, to 443. That's another 13 cents. The good part about this, folks, is we made the decision to buy it yesterday and got stopped out. If I hadn't have bought it yesterday and got stopped out, look what, look what would be happening. I wouldn't have any friends at all. Remember what Roy Longstreet said, the first mistake teaches, the second mistake kills. My first mistake was it was a bad trade. Hell, I have a lot of those, but I don't stand in front of them, folks. When they get you, they bite you in the rear end, and that's pretty much what we're watching here today. And it's, and it's the same thing with the stock market. It looks like she's going to go up forever. We're going to find out very, very quickly here. Let's see where we are. i got to find out this thing. Is. i got so many of these things in here. All right, let's see where we are here. 
Okay, so far we went above it by just a little bit. Let's see if the cash hit it exactly, because cash is really important when trading the S&P. Byron Tucker drilled that into me along with Leo Malaman uh, from way back in 19, um, what was it, 1982, 83, 84 is when that was going on. The SPY is just a tad lower than this. And if we go to the hourly, you'll get up and see as most of us forgot the oh it hit it exactly there you go so we did hit the number which is 5077 we're trading above at 20 cents right now remember this is delayed just a little bit so it really doesn't count but that's what we're watching here these patterns unfolding here today okay let's move on to the next one here uh oh i think we got a break coming up let me double check the old clock on the wall take a break we'll be right back 877 927-6648. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, we're going to go through some of these, uh, uh, what do they call these, these fast, uh, mega stocks, you know, the Magnificent Seven. This is Amazon. You can see we've had this huge move here huge gap up when they uh i don't know what they did here but they did something with earnings or whatever but if you look at this if we just did an a b c d from this last low that we had from this low up to this high right there you'll see that we've uh, 
just about completed that. We're right, oh, there it is, 175. Whether that means much, look what it meant here. A, B, C, D to the bottom. You can see the nice little butterfly bottom that we have right here. Then we have an A, B, C, D here with earnings. Left a huge gap up in here. Boom, came down. And then this is the low. This is the high, and it went up to that level. Whether that means anything or not, it did down here. It might need, mean nothing right here. Okay, let's look at the next one here, which is Broadcom. This is still going up, and I believe is it new high ground or very, very close. Let's move it up. You can see here we had this level here to be very important. We've been here now for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 days. Hasn't made a new high. In fact, it's showing it's down today, but I... I think that's suspect. Here's Appel, Mr. Appel. It is down today, which is a surprise. You can see here Apple looking okay. And you'll see uh, we made the 61% retracement. We rallied up. Look, this looks, of, of all these, these look, this looks relatively weak, folks, because we've got three lower highs here in Apple. I don't know how Apple could have that happening with everybody else buying, but right now some people are selling Apple. Okay, here's one that nobody wants to touch. This is Meta, the richest, soon-to-be richest man in the world, my closest and dearest friend, Mark Zuckerberg. I was the one that gave him the idea for uh, Facebook, but I don't get any credit for it, so what am I going to do? Uh, this was a very bullish report, evidently, and it's still making new highs today, and that's related to, I don't know, but it's still going higher. <laughs> I'm not going to have anything to do with this, folks. There was a nice ABCD pattern here. It, it didn't work. and just kept going higher. The first mistake teaches. The second mistake kills. Remember, in the jungle, the jungle, the tiger always goes after the weakest, okay? Now, here's Softy. Here's Microsoft. We'll get up here and look at Microsoft. All I know is, folks, we are historically into something that you, most of you folks will only, well, no, you get to see it twice. I've only got to see it about three times in 60 years, but uh, it's going to be exciting when this thing does turn down because it's not going to take any prisoners, and I, I mean that sincerely. Okay, there's where we are. We've, uh, uh, you know, we've gone up to what 425. It gapped down. It hasn't really done very much. There must have been something, uh, maybe a key employee quit or something like that. I'm not sure. Unfortunately, I have to leave early today, folks, because I have something that I absolutely have to do and i can't get out of it nvidia just keeps going higher and higher uh, this was like the dot-com stuff folks but it's still going higher so there's nothing else you can do about it okay now here's google it's actually rolling over just like uh, apple is you'll see here we didn't make new highs here there was your scheduled high you went up higher left a huge gap up in here now you're having some uh a couple of lower lows in here so it's important that that holds this level okay and here is Mr. Tesla. And I see if it held that 786. It certainly did. It went down to the 786, and now it's making a small ABCD to the upside. So take a look at that. Now, this could have been interpreted as a head and shoulders pattern. Let's get up here to take a look at it. There's your left shoulder. There's your right shoulder. Okay. One, two, three, four, five up. One, two, three, four, five up. The right shoulder is higher than your left shoulder, which is bullish. And it's yesterday was probably at an exact 61% retracement. And there it was. That was at 82. Now it's at 94. The ABCD measures up here to 205. So if you trade stocks, this stuff works pretty good with stocks. So it's important that we pay, you know, really close attention to that one. I think, was that all of them that's in the group? Okay, that's it. All right, let's move back. And I have to re, uh, fix this, and then we'll get back here to the main page. And we'll see where we are with these things and see if I – I don't think I've been stopped out yet because I haven't heard any beeping, but uh, who knows. I might be hearing some beeping. That's uh, where we at here. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. No, it's no, I'm still in it, but not by much. Okay, that's what we're watching here this morning. I've only got a couple more minutes, folks. I'm sorry for the uh, the problem of uh, moving this around, but when you lose somebody like this, there's a lot of things that have to be done, and they have to be done on time. I've got to do a little bit of traveling here pretty soon. And uh, gosh, I, 
it hit me more today than it did yesterday. I, yesterday, I think I was in a state of shock. Now I'm in a state of remorse. So I'm going to have to go through the fear. I I will not be doing any trading tomorrow. And uh, that's basically a, 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 a being stupid. If I do, I put a put a one lot on in here, but that, that doesn't mean very much. And so that's what I'm going to be doing here. So I've got just a minute or so to go. Uh, you know, you don't have to send me any condolences and stuff. I already know that. A lot of you know. You've heard Jim on the line a few times. He was very private. He didn't like to be public. You know, he was. He really knew these things, but he just didn't like to share them too much. And the reason why, he says, A, people are defy human nature, do the work yourself. And that's what he always did. He was always, uh, always doing that. And that's why I... I miss him so much. Even some of my friends that knew him really closely, like uh, Rich Anderson and Byron Tucker and a whole bunch of other people, uh, said he will be missed. He was a real stand-up guy, and it was uh, very, very uh, unfortunate. I'll be doing a few tributes to him now and then as we go through these, but uh, today I have to do something. I'll be here tomorrow. Uh, Shane Smolian will be our guest, and... Uh, if you notice that I've been struggling to do this show today, you are 100% right. <laughs> it's not easy. Uh, anyway, that's uh, that's what we're watching here today. So we're going to – the good part about these grains coming down like this, they're going to give us a great time to buy them, okay? All we have to do is wait for the next good pattern. Might be a week or two down the road. I don't know. But what goes down – usually bounces back. Remember, the key for high prices is high prices, and the key for low prices is low prices. In other words, if prices are low, it stimulates demand. If prices are high, it stops demand. Well, prices are low here. So somebody's going to be saying, guys, i got to be looking to get some corn down here at 435 because it costs the farmer probably 390 to, to to put it in the ground and pray that the crop comes in. So that's what we're watching. So I think we're almost to the end of the wire here. One minute left to go, and I will be back tomorrow with Shane Smolian as our guest. And uh, I just want to be sure that uh, I'll be able to back be in the show tomorrow. But uh, been a rough day today, uh, not not market wise, mental wise. Uh, made a couple of simple, s silly mistakes, mainly because you're not focused on what you should be doing. And if I'd have been a commodity corp corporation uh, with 20 minute trading, they wouldn't even allowed me to trade. So. <laughs> the smart thing to do is to listen to what you say so I'll see you guys tomorrow live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. 
Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Hi, right, folks, we're back with Garo. So, Garo, I'm just going to tell you that based on my analysis with the cup formation, and the left side, right side price time maps, that is that has to do with the uh, plumb line in the middle. I have it testing. It could do it much, much quicker than that. But I have it testing 842, the high of this is CCCC, uh, C4 Therapeutics Inc. Testing the 842 high. Today's high is 802 so far. 842 high of the 10th of January by the uh, 20th of February, 20th. That'll be by... Tuesday, <clears throat> and uh, that's the way it looks right now. All the technicals are very strong. But what I mentioned to you was that very long-legged wick that was the week of the, uh, here we go, week of the 15th of December, was that if it went into the middle and on any day it closed in the middle of that long-legged wick, that says it should retest the highs, which it did. In fact, I think it went one penny higher, uh, 837 and 830. Oh, 842. So this is actually leg B. Wow, this looks like a biotech, doesn't it? Uh, leg B, peak B. So this is exactly the same thing today. Once it goes into halfway of the week of the 12th of the week of the 12th of January, which would be at 764, and right now it's trading at 70, 777. It says not only should it test that high, it should just nick the top of it. So I, that's I. Everything about it says that it should go higher to the seven seven eighties, um, and it should be within the next few days. And the other one you were looking at was um, S S O U N. Oh, that's right, S O U N. So S O U N, <clears throat> huge move today up, and but it's giving a lot back. So I had it as a leg B yesterday. This is still a leg B. Um, this is a little bit different. Uh, in this particular one, if it closes any in, in the next two days, if it closes under 3.11, that's today's low. So far, it's today's low. But if it closes in the next two days below that low, it's probably going to fill the gap. And this looks like a one-off to the upside. So I'd be a little more careful with this. The other one is really positive. This one looks like a news or a, just a news-related spike to a sound hound. S O U N. I, like, I love the chart <clears throat> yesterday. The weight was trying to push above the 200 period moving average because it's not been yes. able to do that forever. And now all of a sudden it's way above it. So it's positive, but just on a short term basis. So what you want to see is by the end of the day today, it tries one more time to at least get to 360. If we get to 360, it should hold all the way through tomorrow, and that'll be good. But I, I'd be real careful if it takes out today's low. Hope that helps you. Should I should I sell it today and get out of it? Uh, I, you know, I probably would say right now I would sell most of it. You can keep a little bit more as an experiment to see what can happen over the next two days. But I would get I would personally sell 
a, a good part of it. But it's nothing. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just that it's given back. It's gone. It spiked from three uh, from two twenty six to four oh six, and now it's trading at three forty. So I'm just saying to you, it's still acting well. There's still buyers coming in. But once it starts to lose some momentum to the upside, it'll be very quick to give back a chunk. So I just take something off. Why don't you do this? Take something off right now, and you can have a little bit of a trading stop. I think that might work best for you because you're watching it all the time, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. I appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Thank you Thank so you much. Very much. Nice Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So, Thank so folks, I want you to, I want you to get back. Bye, bye, Gary. Call me again. So what we're looking at is in Eli Lilly. Let me just go through this real quickly. Eli Lilly, just a fantastic company. I mean, they've got everything going for them. So I would never, I would not say to anybody who's long, get out of it. I would say take a little bit of profit. You can always put it back again, lower down. Just keep whittling away uh, and then put that back whenever you want. But it's had at least three or four round numbers going to these all-time highs. And today's high is... Um, below yesterday's high of 764.05, uh, but it had a round number 745 low yesterday. The day before, um, what was it, two days ago, it had a round number oh, 741. Uh, a few days before that, it had a 742 round number. It just tells me that something's going to give, and at some point it'll be back uh, in, the, in the high 60, 600s. Uh, that's all it's saying to me. It doesn't say to get, you know, it's just a warning that some people are so, they, they're so, they got to get in, they got to get in. So they just grab it and that's where the round number comes from. Or they got to get out. So that's all I'm saying. Um, so within, uh, oh yes, you hear the ping when Basil has a call. I'm, I'm, you're not supposed to hear that. Only me. Aha. So that's what I was saying to you. I think that you are linked somehow to another Dan, Dan. Okay, so that's why you're getting an overlap. If you can get rid of one of the voices, you'll get, it'll be great. Now, the other question was Eli Lilly, and I wanted to get back to copper before that. The question came in, oh, am I gonna find it? Oh yes, ASPN. So A ASPN, and then Dan can't hear what I'm saying, so I might have to type it. Uh, where, where would a support be? It's trading at 17.34, up uh, very nicely. A huge move in the last four sessions from the 12s to the 17s. Where would support be? I think between 16.20 and 15.80 if there is a sharp pullback. That's where you've got to be careful. All right. So I've got that covered, got that covered, got a couple of other questions. Um, so, yes, CLF, another question came in. CLF is Cliff. CLF. This is a, a steel company. This is Cleveland Cliffs, a roll steel, up nicely today. You know, this, this is not like the copper chart, which is at the bottom and had a big spike to the upside today, or the gold. This is different. This has got the pattern that, one of the patterns that I love, where it comes down and makes just a beautiful channel. It's, I like it much narrower than this, but it has this channel. And the channel says, hoo hoo, as long as I remain in this channel, if I break to the upside, I can very quickly go to the left side highs of importance. Well, it's already taken out this one here of the 9th of uh, February at 20.02. The next one would be all the way back up on the January the 31st at 20.76. But what's really important is the nine pre moving average is above the 14. I love that. The weekly nine is over the 14, and the SLX, which is the steel ETF, that's the different thing altogether. So there are a couple of steel companies like Newmont, a new core, and um, uh, Cleveland Cliffs. That's different. This is testing, testing, testing the space of support right here, the SLX. So this is, I can get this closer to looking at it as if, yeah, let me do this. Look, here, yeah, high-grade copper. See, that's just a one-off to the downside, and now it's trying to rally. This is testing, 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 and so far, it's saying, hey, I'm using this as a trampoline. I'm a little kid, a 10-year-old kid, and I'm bouncing on the trampoline. Honey, be careful, because if you break 71, it's trading at 70.25. If you break 71, you can keep going to the moon, so that's what I'm looking at. So this is the steel ETF, 
is now improving a lot. If it can start to trade in the 71s, that's going to be really good action. Uh, this gives us time now to... Uh, oh, NVIDIA disclosed a stake in SOUN. All right, well, that does help, doesn't it? Uh, all right, I'll be back in a moment. Ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. I'm going to get to copper in a second, but NVIDIA had a round number uh, low today. It's trading at 732.19. It had a 724 round number. It had a whole bunch yesterday. And SC... 
this MCI <coughs> that is um, super micro co computer at all time highs, just a vertical parabolic move to the upside, had a 945 round number open today. And it's trading at 946, 945. 945 as we speak. Uh, it's just amazing. Um, all I can say is uh, it's telling me something. Okay, high grade copper. Make it as simple as possible. Very nice move up today. But what you need to see is it, to make a V-shaped pattern, you want a, a very strong follow through in the next two days by Monday. You want to see high grade copper at 3.78 and holding. And I think that it has to be together. I, I normally wouldn't do this, but I think it has to be together with gold, probably going to um, 2012 right now, going to 2035, 2037. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Check out my opening call day.